Hello. Good, good afternoon, everyone. Today we're going to talk um, about uh, SAT pre preparation uh, session. And we're going to talk about the specific component of the SAT prep writing and language. So uh, I'm sharing with you my screen. And you'll be able to see all the slides that I'm going to use in this session. And hope if you have any questions, you'll be writing in the comments. So I will get back to you. So uh, SAT, uh, let me first introduce you the session um, SAT. Uh, SAT is basically a testing system of the academic level of the academic studies that students did in their school. So this test is basically aimed for the students to get into their college or a university. SAT is a kind of requirement from most of the universities and colleges, colleges for the high school students to enter the college. And we also use it for the college readiness. Um, mostly the schools offer SAT prep sessions for the students who are willing to take this test. Um, so today I'm going to just start with one specific component of the SAT prep writing in language. Um, that is um, called parallel structure. Parallel structure is actually used when you connect clauses with a coordinating conjunction. For example, if you would like to say that every morning we make our bed, eat breakfast, and feed the dog. So the parallel structure, how to find out the parallel structure in this sentence. The parallel structure is actually a whole phrase, a whole predicate, like make our bed, okay, eat breakfast, right, that's another predicate, and feed the dog. So if you say make our bed and eating breakfast, Uh, well structured, it's not paralleled. When the structure is parallel, that means the structure is going to be the same. So in the beginning, the structure was make our bed. So the first form of verb and the object. And so the next structure should also be parallel. Parallel means should be the same, should be organized the same way. So make our bed, eat breakfast and feed the dog. So this whole structure is parallel, parallelly well structured, okay? So this is the correct example. The incorrect example is every morning we make our bed, eating breakfast, and feed the dog. So you see here something smells fishy. This whole thing is not parallelly structured, okay? Because here you say make, here you say eating. So make is a normal form we make and then when you say eating so eating is not a verb that should be used here according to the verb here make so it should be paralleled and when it when you, when you want to make when you want to make it parallel you should say we make our bed eat breakfast not eating and feed the dog all right so this is called a parallel structure i'm gonna give you the types of parallel structure that you can come across in any SAT test. So let me share with you another screen, another slide that will help you to understand. So sorry. Um, yeah. So the types of parallel structure I'm going to share with you here it is. Okay, so whenever you have a series, you know, you have series of words, for example, you have series of 
a phrase, you have series of prepositional phrases, you have series of clauses, you have series of infinitives, you have series of words. So in all these cases, you have to keep it uh, structured as parallel. Like, she wanted three things, money, power, and security, okay? So if you say she wanted three things, uh, earning money, power, and security. So when you say earning power, uh, earning money, so this is not parallel structure, but when you say she wanted three things, money, power, and security, now this structure is parallel, that you're, going to, you're, you're using it word by word without adding anything else, okay? Let's move to the other type of parallel structures when you have series of infinitives. For example, there was no opportunity to do my taxes, all right? To do my taxes and to request an extension and to explain my situation. So you see, the whole structure is paralleled. And here we have the example of infinitives. Infinitive is always uh, um, kind of a phrase used with to plus verb. To plus verb. To do my taxes. So the next structure should also be parallel to the previous one, like to request an ex extension. Okay? So oh, to do my taxes, and if you say requesting an ex extension or explaining my situation or explanation of my situation, then this is not going to be well structured. So here, this is a one kind of parallel structure. The other kind here is series of prepositional phrases. So series of prepositional phrases where you have prepositions like in the closet, under the sink, and in the garage. So in all these phrases, you're using preposition. And this is called prepositional phrases, all right? So he found cleaning supplies in the closet, this, in the sink, or if you say the sink, the garage. No, you have to use it uh, as a whole prepositional phrase to actually match the previous structure, to make it parallel to the previous structure, which was prepositional phrase. So the next one should also be a prepositional phrase. And the next one should also be a prepositional phrase. Usually, it is always three uh, different uh, categories. I mean, three different ways, three different parts in each parallel structure. You should have three things together, OK? That should be the same parallel to each other. The last thing is here, series of clauses. The company doesn't care about who you are, how you got here, or why you have come. So again, you have all these uh, things parallelly structured, yeah? When you have started using the first one as a clause, which is called a relative clause, so the second one you're also using as a clause, and the third one as well, to make it parallelly structured. So parallelly structured means you'll be using the same structure for the series of words, infinitives, prepositional phrases or clauses. That's very simple. Okay, so now I'm going to show you an example of an SAT test where they're going to test your parallel structure knowledge. Okay, so let's just go and start practicing one example I'm gonna show you first and then you're gonna go to the Khan Academy to practice your parallel structure skill uh, in SAT account. Okay. <clears throat> Not that one. I'm already using it. Right. So the example of parallel structure in context of SAT exam will be something like this. Okay. Yeah. So you can see here. Um, that's the, that's the question of parallel structure actually 
uh, how it looks like in the SAT exam. You can see here, the fanning fox hunts at night, digs out dens in sand, and mate for life. So the basically, they're asking you to check the underlying part of this question, okay, whether it is parallelly structured or not. So how you are you going to see? Basically, mate here is a verb. So previously, they used the verb like hunts, and then they used the word, verb like digs. Hunts, digs. So the next word should also be parallel to these verbs, okay? Hunts, digs. So what you have? You have choices. You need to choose the correct answer. So the first choice is no change. That means you have to keep the verb as it is in the question. You don't need to change. All right, the second thing here, the second choice is mated. Do you think mated would be the correct example here? No, because the previously verbs are used as present verbs, hunts and digs. So mated will not be the correct answer. If you talk about C, uh, I think it seems like it's going to be the correct answer because when you have simple present tense, the verb is always uh, with S at the end when the subject is singular, all right? So hunts, digs, and mates. So C seems to be the correct answer. We'll check out now. But here it is, another last cho choice, which is has mated. So obviously has mated cannot be the correct answer because they have not used a perfect tense, okay? Has mated is a perfect tense. So they have not used has hunted or has dug. They have used a simple present tense. So basically C is going to be the correct answer. So let's just go and check the answer. All right, so the answer is C, all right? They're asking you to do a practice test of this skill on Khan Academy. So you can go to the Khan Academy or the College Board if you have the account there at College Board, you can go there and practice the skill parallel structure. I hope you enjoyed the video and you grew uh, in the context of SAT preparation. Thank you very much. Uh, goodbye. We'll see you again with another skill of SAT. Bye-bye.